In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a numeric value to a string in C++, where a numeric value is something like an int or a double. So for example, let's say we have a double variable called number one, and we assign to that variable the value 5.25. We can convert this double value to a string using the toString function. The toString function is found inside the string library so the first thing we'll do is include the string library. Then down here, we'll call the toString function and we'll pass it number one as an argument. ToString is going to return the string representation of that number. We'll store that into the string variable string one. We'll then output string one. So here we'll have C out and then string one followed by an end line. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get here 5.25. So the conversion was correct. We do have these extra zeros here. So the way toString works is it's going to give us back a string in the same format as if sprintf was called to convert the floating point number to a string. So it's going to be the same format as if we called sprintf like this with a buffer large enough to store the converted value. And so that's the format we can expect when we use toString. And we can also use toString to convert float values, int values, long values, or any other numeric value to a string. But the toString function is only available in C++11 onwards, where C++11 is a version of the language itself. If we need to perform conversions using an earlier version of the language, we can use a string stream object instead. So up here, we'll include the string stream library with include as stream. This will allow us to create a string stream object. Then down here, we'll declare an int variable called number two, and we'll assign it the value 20. Then we'll declare a string stream object. We'll have string stream, and we'll call it convert. This will give us a stream, and we can use the stream insertion operator and the stream extraction operator with the stream, like how we do with C in and C out. So for example, we'll use the stream insertion operator to insert number two onto the stream. Then we'll declare a string variable called string two. So we'll have string and string two. Then we'll use the stream extraction operator to extract that number into string two. So we'll have convert, and then the stream extraction operator, and then string two. So after inserting the int value onto the stream with the stream insertion operator, we're then extracting that value, but this time we're extracting it as a string into string two. We can then output string two. So here we'll have C out, and then string two, followed by an inline. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get here 20. So again, the conversion was successful. And this technique of using a string stream object to perform the conversion will work with other numeric types as well, such as float, double, and long. So this is how we can convert a numeric value to a string in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.